Armenian cuisine includes the foods and cooking techniques of the Armenian people and traditional Armenian foods and dishes. The cuisine reflects the history and geography where Armenians have lived as well as sharing outside influences from European and Levantine cuisines. The cuisine also reflects the traditional crops and animals grown and raised in Armenian populated areas. The preparation of meat, fish, and vegetable dishes in an Armenian kitchen often requires stuffing, frothing, and pureeing. Lamb, eggplant, and bread lavash are basic features of Armenian cuisine. Armenians traditionally used cracked wheat bulgur in preference to maize and rice. The flavor of the food relies on the quality and freshness of the ingredients rather than on excessive use of spices. Fresh herbs are used extensively, both in the food and as accompaniments. Dried herbs are used in the winter. When fresh herbs are not available, wheat is the primary grain and is found in a variety of forms, such as whole wheat, shelled wheat, bulgur, parboiled cracked wheat, semolina, farina, and flour. Historically, rice was used mostly in the cities and in certain rice growing areas, e.g., Marish and the region around Yerevan. Legumes are used liberally, especially chickpeas, lentils, white beans, and kidney beans. Nuts are used both for texture and to add nutrition to Lenten dishes. Of primary usage are walnuts, almonds, pine nuts, but also hazelnuts, pistachios in Cilicia, and nuts from regional trees. Fresh and dried fruit are used both as main ingredients and as sour agents. As main ingredients, the following fruit are used, apricots fresh and dried, quince, melons, and others. As sour agents, the following fruits are used, sumac berries in dried, powdered form, sour grapes, plums either sour or dried, pomegranate, apricots, cherries especially sour cherries, and lemons. In addition to grape leaves, cabbage leaves, chard, beet leaves, radish leaves, strawberry leaves, and others are also stuffed. <laughs> Background A typical meal in an Armenian household might consist of bread, butter, sour milk, cheese, fresh and picked vegetables, and radishes. Lunch might include a vegetable or meatball soup with sour milk, lamb, yogurt, eggplant and bread are basic features of the cuisine of the Caucasus, and in this regard, Armenian cuisine is no different, but there are some regional differences. Armenian dishes make heavy use of bulgur, especially in their pilavs, while Georgian variations use maize, and Azeri cuisine favors rice. Armenian cuisine also makes use of mixed flours made from wheat, potato and maize, which produces flavors that are difficult to replicate. Armenians call kofta kiofta and tail fat kyrgyk. Archaeologists have found traces of barley, grapes, lentils, peas, plums, sesame, and wheat during excavations of the Arabuni fortress in Yerevan. Herbs are used copiously in Armenian cuisine, and Armenian desserts are often flavored with rose water, orange flower water and honey. Salads are a staple of the Armenian diet, along with various yogurt soups and lamb stews, which sometimes include apricots. Pomegranate juice is a popular beverage. Marat Belgi has written that both Armenian and Iranian cuisines have meat and fruit dishes, where meat is cooked together with fruits like quince and plums, which are uncommon in Ottoman cuisine. Mazes made with chickpeas, lentils, beans and eggplants play a role in Armenian cuisine, often served with traditional lavash bread. Lavash may also be used as tortilla-style wrap for various combinations of fried meat, vegetables, cheese and herbs. Cold cucumber soup is a common dish. Bosbash is a soup of fatty lamb meat that may include various fruits and vegetables such as quince and apples. Armenian cuisine also features filled pastry pies called boreg, various types of sausages, toasted pumpkin seeds, pistachios, pine nuts, bastarma, and dolma. Cinnamon is a very commonly used spice in Armenian cuisine. It is sprinkled on soups, breads, desserts and sometimes even fish. Salads are served with a lemon cinnamon dressing alongside as an accompaniment to meat kebabs. In a survey of Armenian American cuisine, ginger was rated an important spice. There are many Turkish loanwords used in Armenian for various foodstuffs. Tel peynir, su biorik, tarkana, fasulya, bastırma, and kadeif are examples. In her 1989 book, Russian food Jean Redwood wrote the following about Armenian cuisine. A long unbroken religious cohesion and a strong national consciousness over the centuries, despite decimation and dispersion of their numbers over the globe, has kept their culture intact. Because of this they have tended to influence rather than be influenced in their manner of cooking. They traveled around the Caucasus more than the other nationalities and were the main commercial traders. 
Other writers have expressed their doubts noting that the culinary dishes which Armenians sometimes characterize as authentically Armenian are on the one hand common features of the non-Armenian cuisine in many Arabic countries as well as in Cyprus and Greece and, on the other hand, popular throughout Iran." Grains <laughs> 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 Grains are used for a variety of purposes. Traditional lavash bread is made from wheat flour, and grains are also added to soups to give them a thicker consistency. Lavash is baked in a traditional clay tonier oven. Bread is a very important staple of Armenian cuisine. Topic: <inaudible> Herbs. <inaudible> Armenians make extensive use of various herbs in their dishes. One porridge prepared from cereals and wild herbs is called kerchik. The same name is used by Kurds and Yazidi. Armenians usually eat kerchik with pickled cabbage, whereas Yazidi eat it with knotgrass polygonum avicular. The eastern Anatolia region, where many Armenians lived prior to the Armenian Genocide, has an immensely rich plant biodiversity with over 3,000 vascular plant taxa. Of these almost 800 are endemic species. The inhabitants of this region often lived in inaccessible area and were dependent on local cultivated and wild flora. Some of the most important areas of the region, in terms of plant diversity, include Harput, Lake Hazar and Munzer. <laughs> <laughs> Dairy and cheese Chechil is a type of smoked Armenian cheese. Tan is the traditional Armenian name for strained yogurt. Dairies form an important part of the Armenian diet, especially in the cold winter months where, in past times, the only available vegetables were dried or pickled. Yogurt makin and yogurt derived products are of particular importance in the cuisine. In past times, villagers made a distinction between different types of yogurt, such as the yogurt made with the first milk of spring, etc. From yogurt is made tan, a refreshing drink made from yogurt, water, and salt. Yogurt is also strained kamvak makin and, thus prepared, may be used as a dip or mixed with broth in soups or stews since the strained yogurt does not curdle as easily as plain yogurt. As a mean of long-term preservation, yogurt was also strained, formed into balls that were allowed to dry in the sun. This preparation is known as korton, dry, yogurt. An interesting preparation is the use of yogurt and bulgur to make tarksana The bulgur is kneaded with yogurt and sometimes dried mint, dried in the sun, then broken into pieces that are stored in jars or, traditionally, cloth sacks that were hung from the rafters. The preserved product could then be used in the winter to make soup or stews. Yogurt forms the base of many stews and sauces. Porani porani is a stew with many variants but with the common characteristic of using yogurt. Many Armenian soups are made with yogurt. Generally, rice, bulgur, or vermicelli is boiled, and yogurt, or strained yogurt, is mixed to make soup. There are of course many variants involving the addition of legumes, herbs, spices, etc. In Western Armenian cuisine, a common side dish or dip is esekster makin, garlic yogurt, made by beating raw mashed garlic and salt into yogurt. In addition to yogurt, Armenians use all the typical dairy products, from milk itself, to milk cream, sour cream, tdvazer tetvazer, etc. Clotted cream, known as seruk srutsik, is a staple of Western Armenian sweets. <laughs> <laughs> Fruits and other sweets The main ingredients in Armenian sweets are honey, fruits, nuts, yogurt and sesame. Both dried and fresh fruits are used. There are many fruit-based Armenian desserts including smoked peaches and nuts cooked in honey and various fruit compotes. Armenian syrupy walnuts called Churchella in Georgia are sweetened with mulberry or grape juice. Yogurt and nuts can be sweetened with honey. Cinnamon is heavily used as spice for desserts like apricot compote and karabiye, a type of cookie. Armenian and Persian peaches were reportedly traded westward during the era of Alexander the Great. One Soviet era writer reports that Armenia's apricots, peaches, walnuts, and quince are equal or superior to the world's best grades. Another writes, Armenian peaches are famous, and her brandies are popular throughout the world. Grapes, figs, and pomegranates are also popular. 
Grapes and apricots are commonly used to make baste, a dried, fruit leather, of possible Persian origins that resembles fruit roll ups. The Armenian version of the wheat berry pudding ashore is called anushabor. Since Armenians serve this pudding during Christmas and on New Year's Eve, it is sometimes called Armenian Christmas pudding. The pudding may be accompanied by karabiye or nuts such as almonds and pistachios. Like ashore, the Christmas pudding may be garnished with pomegranate seeds and flavored with rose water, and shared with neighbors during the Christmas season. This festive pudding is the centerpiece of the New Year's table, which is often decorated with dried fruits, nuts and pomegranates. <laughs> Meats. Armenians eat various meats like mutton, cattle and goat but the most popular meat in Armenian cuisine is pork. Roasted piglet, called gochi is a traditional holiday meal prepared for New Year's celebrations. Roasted pork chops are a favored item for barbecues. Horovitz is an Armenian-style kebab that is usually made from pork, but can also be made with lamb. This kebab is prepared with vegetables like eggplant, tomato and green pepper. The Armenian lulu kebab is very similar to Adana kebab the only difference being that lulu kebab is spiced with cinnamon. Keshk is a bulgur pilav based dish with lamb or chicken. It is cooked in a broth and flavored with butter, cinnamon and pepper. Tavuklu kulama is a chicken dish that is sometimes identified as Armenian, but there are conflicting accounts about its region of origin and preparation of the dish varies substantially between regions. Some say it's a specialty of the Kirshahir region, while another variation served in simple syrup is prepared annually in Maras, Turkey. Basturma is a salted meat that is dried and pressed before being rubbed with a special spice paste called semen. It is a common food item in Armenia. Yershig Armenian, Ursik Yershik or Sujik Suiks, a spicy beef sausage. Kiyofta Armenian, Kolalak Kolalak meaning meatball comes in many types, such as Hyastan Kiyofta, Karpert Kiyofta, Porov Kiyofta, Ishli Kiyofta, etc. Tahal Armenian, Thal also known as Gavorma is potted meat preserved in its own fat. Doughs Kokogormas, which means, husband doesn't see is a dough-based dish. The anecdotal tale behind this particular dough is that it is named for a woman who always prepares meat dishes when her husband is home, but eats this simple dough herself to conserve the resources of the household. Matnakash, Armenian, matnakas matnakas, soft and puffy leavened bread, made of wheat flour and shaped into oval or round loaves. The characteristic golden or golden brown crust is achieved by coating the surface of the loaves with sweetened tea essence before baking. Bagarch Armenian, bagarch ritual bread prepared for New Year's Eve, mid-Lent, etc. Choreg or Choreg, braided bread formed into rolls or loaves, also a traditional loaf for Easter. Zihingalov hats Armenian, Zingalov hak not entirely a bread you would eat with your everyday meal. Zihingalov hak is an Armenian dish that is made with dough, dried cranberry, pomegranate molasses, that go inside the dough, and seven different greens which include spinach, coriander, parsley, basil, scallions, dill, mint. There is a variety of combinations that can be used in the bread and these greens can easily be substituted for other greens. The greens are placed in the bread and the bread is folded like a calzone. Typical dishes There are a few national dishes in Armenian cuisine. Harissa is a porridge made of wheat and meat cooked together for a long time, originally in the tonir but nowadays over a stove. Traditionally, harissa was prepared on feast days in communal pots and served to all comers. The wheat used in harissa is typically shelled pelted wheat, though in Adana, harissa is made with korkot, korkot ground, par-boiled shelled wheat, similar to bulgur. Either lamb, beef, or chicken is used as the harissa meat. The everyday Armenian dish is the dz hash. This is a brothy stew consisting of meat or a legume, in the meatless version, a vegetable, and spices. The dz hash was typically cooked in the tonir. The DZ hash is generally served over a pilaf of rice or bulgur, sometimes accompanied by bread, pickles or fresh vegetables or herbs. A specific variety of DZ hash is the porani, porani a stew made with yogurt, of possibly Persian origin. Examples of DZ hash are 
meat and green beans or green peas with tomato sauce, garlic, and mint or fresh dill. Meat and summer squash or zucchini. This is a signature dish from Aintab, and is characterized by the liberal use of dried mint, tomatoes, and lemon juice. Meat and pumpkin. This is a wedding dish from Marish made with meat, chickpeas, pumpkin, tomato and pepper paste, and spices. Meat and leeks in a yogurt sauce. Urfa-style porani, made with small meatballs, chickpeas, chard, and desert truffles. Grilled meats are quite common as well and are omnipresent at market stalls, where they are eaten as fast food, as well as at barbecues and picnic. Also, in modern times, no Armenian banquet is considered complete without an entree of kebab. Kebabs vary from the simple marinated meat on a skewer interspersed with vegetables to the more elaborate. Certain regions in western Armenia developed their local, specialized kebabs. For example, we have Urfa kebab, spiced ground meat interspersed with eggplant slices. Auric and kanam budu, two Cilician specialties in which lean ground meat is kneaded with dough and spices and lined on a skewer. A common dish of Armenian cuisine is pilaf, egginc yegins. Pilaf is a seasoned rice, bulgur, or shelled wheat dish often served with meats such as lamb or beef. Many pilafs especially in Western Armenian cuisine are made with vermicelli in addition to the rice or wheat. Pilafs can also include meats, vegetables, and or dried fruits to make them more substantial similar to the Indian biryani. Rice pilaf with dried fruits is part of the Eastern Armenian Christmas Eve tradition. Pilaf made with bulgur and liver is a specialty of Zaytown, Cilicia, Western Armenia. Topic breakfast The modern Armenian breakfast consists of coffee or tea, plus a spread of cheeses, jams, jellies, vegetables, eggs, and breads. Armenians living in the diaspora often adopt local customs. Thus, Armenians in Lebanon, Syria, and Egypt may include fool stewed fava beans in olive oil. Traditional Armenian breakfast dishes were hearty. They included, hash, sometimes colloquially called the Armenian hangover cure, is a basic dish of simmered cow's hooves. Hash is mentioned in 12th century medieval Armenian texts. Kalagyush, there are many variants of this dish. It can be a meat and yogurt stew or it can be a vegetarian stew made with lentils, fried onions, and matzoon. In either case, it was traditionally eaten by crumbling stale lavash bread over it and eating it with a spoon. Pamidor of Dizvajek tomato and egg scramble, this is a very common breakfast item. Essentially a simple scramble with tomato as the base. Some iterations of this dish can include, most commonly, onions and bell peppers. This is usually served with traditional lavash bread, ani paneer Armenian feta and herbs tarragon, purple basil, cilantro. Topic. Appetizers Meals in Armenia often start with a spread of appetizers served for the table. Armenian appetizers include stuffed vine leaves called Yalanchi Sarma, a type of dolma, a fried cheese stuffed pastry called Dabgads Banir Borag, stuffed mussels dolma, and several types of pickled vegetables generally known as torshi. Toasted pumpkin seeds are a popular snack, Armenians call them tutumi gud, chickpea balls called topic are made by Turkey's Armenian community, they are spiced with currants, onions, and cinnamon and served with a tahini sauce. Takuhi Tavmasian discusses several Armenian mezes in her book Safranes Sen Olsen including stuffed mackerel, a dish of beans in sauce served over stale bread leftover yufka or lavash may be used also called fasuli pakasi, and a type of olive oil-based appetizer with mussels called midi pilakisi. <laughs> Salads Many, if not most, Armenian salads combine a grain or legume with fresh vegetables, often tomato, onions, and fresh herbs. Mayonnaise is used in Western or Russian-inspired salads, e.g., salad olivier. Examples of Armenian salads include each cracked wheat salad, similar to the Middle Eastern tabula, lentil salad, brown lentils, tomatoes, onions in a dressing of lemon juice, olive oil, and chopped parsley. This salad has many variations, with the lentils being replaced by chickpeas, black-eyed peas, chopped raw or roasted eggplant, etc. Topic: <inaudible> Biorik. 
Biorix Armenian, Biorix are pies made with phyllo pastry and stuffed with cheese paneer of Biorix, from Armenian, paneer for cheese. Eastern Armenians refer to this as kachapori or spinach, similar to spanakopita in Greek cuisine. They are a popular snack and fast food, often served as appetizer. Su Biorix lit. Water barrack is a lasagna-style dish with sheets of phyllo pastry briefly boiled in a large pan before being spread with fillings. MSOV Biorik is a bread roll not phyllo pastry stuffed with ground meat similar to Russian piroshki. Semsik, from the region of Urfa, is a fried open-faced meat Biorik. A specific Lenten Biorik is made with spinach and tahini sauce. Soups Armenian soups include spas, made from matzoon, hulled wheat and herbs usually cilantro, and avaluk, made from lentils, walnuts, and wild mountain sorrel which gives the soup its name. Kiyofta soup is made with large balls of strained boiled meat and greens. Another soup, kash, is considered an Armenian institution. Songs and poems have been written about this one dish, which is made from cow's feet and herbs made into a clear broth. Tradition holds that cash can only be cooked by men, who spend the entire night cooking, and can be eaten only in the early morning in the dead of winter, where it's served with heaps of fresh garlic and dried lavash. Tagit is a very special and old traditional food, made from tattoo lavash fruit leather, thin roll-up sheets of sour plum puree, which are cut into small pieces and boiled in water. Fried onions are added and the mixture is cooked into a puree. Pieces of lavash bread are placed on top of the mixture, and it is eaten hot with fresh lavash used to scoop up the mixture by hand. Karsham is a local soup made in the town of Vake in the Vayats Dzor province. This is a walnut based soup with red and green beans, chickpeas, and spices, served garnished with red pepper and fresh garlic. Soups of Russian heritage include borscht, a beetroot soup with meat and vegetables served hot in Armenia, with fresh sour cream and okrushka, a matzoon or kefir-based soup with chopped cucumber, green onion, and garlic. Organic Armenian, organic organic chicken soup with small meatballs, garnished before serving with beaten egg yolks, lemon juice, and parsley. Bloripur Armenian, bulgurupur bulgurupur a sweet soup made of hulled wheat cooked in grape juice, served hot or cold. Bosbash Armenian, bosbas bosbas, a mutton or lamb soup that exists in several regional varieties with the addition of different vegetables and fruits. Burnjapur Armenian, burnhapur brinzapur, rice and potato soup garnished with coriander. Zavarapur Armenian, javarapur zavarapur, hulled wheat, potatoes, tomato puree, egg yolks diluted with water are stirred into the soup before serving. FLOL, beef soup with coarsely chopped spinach leaves and cherry-sized dumplings Armenian, FLOL, made from oatmeal or wheat flour. Harissa Armenian, Harissa Harissa, also known as Sitapur, porridge of coarsely ground wheat with pieces of bone chicken. Katnapur Armenian, Katnapur Katnapur, a milk-based rice soup, sweetened with sugar. Katnav Armenian, Katnav Katnav, a milk-based rice soup with cinnamon and sugar. Kolalak Armenian, Kolalak Kolalak soup cooked from mutton bones with ground mutton dumplings, rice, and fresh tarragon garnish, a beaten egg is stirred into the soup before serving. Kerchik Armenian, Kerchik Kerchik soup made from sauerkraut, pickled cabbage, hulled wheat, potatoes, and tomato puree. Mantapur Armenian, Mantapur Mantapur beef soup with monti, the monti are typically served with matzoon or sour cream TTV Azur, accompanied by clear soup. Matsnaptosh Armenian, Maknabardos Matsnapertas this is the same as Okrushka, referenced earlier, with sour clotted milk diluted with cold water, with less vegetation than Okrushka itself. Matsnaptosh is served cold as a refreshment and supposedly normalizes blood pressure. Pudik Armenian, Pudik Pudik mutton cut into pieces, dried peas, potatoes, leeks, and tomato puree, cooked and served in individual crocks. Sarnapur Armenian, Sarnapur Sarnapur pea soup with rice, beets and matzoon. Esenkapur Armenian, Esenkapur Esenkapur a mushroom soup. Tarkana Armenian, Tarksana Tarksana flour and matzoon soup. Vospapur Armenian, Ospapur Ospapur lentil soup with dried fruits and ground walnuts. Pekapur mustache soup, chickpeas, shelled wheat, sikak lentils, in a vegetarian broth and fresh tarragon. This soup originates from Aintab. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Fish. Armenian cuisine includes many typical seafood dishes like fried mussels stuffed calamari mackerel and benito .The trout from Lake Seven is called ishkan and can be prepared different ways including a baked dolma version stuffed with dried fruits prunes, damsons, or apricots and a poached version marinated with red peppers. Ishkan is also sometimes served in a walnut sauce. For a relatively land-locked country, Armenian cuisine includes a surprising number of fish dishes. Typically, fish is either broiled, fried, or sometimes poached. A few recipes direct the fish to be stuffed. Fish may have been used to stuff vegetables in ancient times, though that is not common anymore. There are several varieties of fish in the Republic of Armenia. Sig Armenian, Sig Sig a whitefish from Lake Seven, native to northern Russian lakes endangered species in Armenia. Karmrakhate Armenian, Karmrakhate Karmrakhate a river trout, also produced in high-altitude artificial lakes e.g., the Mantash Reservoir in Shirak Province. Kogik Armenian, Kogik Kogik an indigenous Lake Seven fish of the carp family, also called Seven Kromulia overfished. <laughs> Main courses Fasulia, fasulia a stew made with green beans, lamb and tomato broth or other ingredients Gapama Armenian, Gapama Gapama pumpkin stew Kchuch Armenian, Kekuk Ku a casserole of mixed vegetables with pieces of meat or fish on top, baked and served in a clay pot Tjvjik Armenian, Svizik Svizik a dish of fried liver and kidneys with onions Topic. Sweets Alani Armenian, Alani Alani pitted dried peaches stuffed with ground walnuts and sugar. Baklava – ground pistachio nuts, cinnamon, and cloves in layers of phyllo pastry soaked with a sugar syrup which usually contains orange flower water. Kadaif – gataif – shredded dough with cream, cheese, or chopped walnut filling, soaked with sugar syrup. Baste or paste Armenian, pasteg pasteg homemade fruit leather. Tatu lavash Armenian, tu lalas tu lalas thin roll-up sheets of sour plum puree fruit leather. Ritual foods NSH kar Armenian, NSXer NSXer bread used for Holy Communion Mas Armenian, mas mas literally means peace. A piece of leftover bread from the making of NSH car, given to worshippers after church service. Mata Armenian, matag matag sacrificial meat, can be of any animal such as goat, lamb, or even bird. <laughs> Drinks Armenian coffee Armenian, Sirk strong black coffee, finely ground, sometimes sweet Kafir Armenian, kafir fermented milk drink Kavas Armenian, kavas sweet, fermented bread drink Tan Armenian, tan yogurt drink still or carbonated Jermak Armenian, Jermak J. Ermak a brand of mineral water from the Jermak area Hayq, Sari, a brand of bottled mountain spring water from the Jermak area in Armenian Hayq stands for Armenia and Sari for from the mountains. Tarkin soda Armenian, Tarkson Tarkson tarragon flavored soda. <laughs> <laughs> Alcoholic drinks Beer <laughs> 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 Beer Armenian, Garajur Garer. Armenian produced beer is considered to be one of the favorite drinks of Armenian men. The beer industry is developing barley malt and producing beer from it. The preparation of beer in Armenia was known from ancient times. According to the Greek historian Xenophon the manufacture of beer in Armenia has begun from BC 5th-4th centuries. Armenians used beer grains for brewing barley, millet, hops. In 1913 there were three beer factories that produced 54,000 deci liters of beer. 
In 1952–78 new factories in Yerevan, Goris, Aliverdi, Abovian were built while existing factories were expanded and improved upon. For providing raw materials for beer production in Gumri was launched large malt plant, based in the production of barley melt of Shirak Valley Farms with the capacity of 10,000 tons of production. In 1985 was produced 6 million deci litres of beer. Popular brands Kotek Kalikia Arabuni produced by Kotek Brewery Gumri Alexandropol Topic brandy Armenian brandy Armenian, cognac cognac, known locally as cognac is perhaps Armenia's most popular exported alcoholic drink. It has a long history of production. Armenian brandy made by Yerevan Wine and Brandy Factory was said to be the favorite drink of British statesman Winston Churchill. It was the favorite alcoholic drink of Joseph Stalin, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Churchill at the Yalta Conference at 1945. The history of Armenian brandy begins in 1887, in the winery of Armenian merchant N. Tyrov By 1890–1900 Yerevan was becoming a center for the production of brandy, numbering a number of factories owned by Giozalov Sarajev Ter Makurchian and others. In 1899, N. Tyrov sold his factory to Nikolai Shustov's well-known brand in Russia. In 1914, there were 15 factories in the province of Yerevan the largest the one now owned by Shustov produced 210,000 10 deci liters of brandy. In 1921, the Soviet state took over Shustov's factory, and it was renamed to Ararat. This became the main factory for wine manufacturing. Despite the fact that only brandies produced in the cognac region of France have the copyright to be called cognac according to Western trade rules, Armenian brandy is called cognac inside Armenia. Yerevan Brandy Factory is now negotiating to obtain an official privilege to market its brandy as cognac. Armenian brandy is categorized by its age and method of aging. The rated stars indicate the age of brandy since its fermentation starting from three stars. The most expensive cognacs have passed additional vintage for more than six years and have special names. The brandy is aged in oak barrels and is made from selected local white grapes grown in the Ararat Valley which is giving it a shade of caramel brown. Popular brands Ararat N.O.Y. Ogi Ogi, Armenian, Ogi, Ogi an Armenian alcoholic beverage usually distilled from fruit, also called era. Artsakh is a well-known brand name of Armenian mulberry vodka Tudi Ogi, produced in Nagorno-Karabakh from local fruit. In the Armenian diaspora, where fruit vodka is not distilled, Ogi refers to the aniseed-flavored distilled alcoholic drink called Arak in the Middle East, Reiki in Turkey, or Uzo in Greece. Mulberry vodka Armenian, t -erig t -erig, a traditional Armenian vodka made from distilling the mulberry, which is grown all over Armenia, especially in the highlands and Artsakh. <laughs> Wine The alcoholic drink with the longest history in Armenia is wine. The oldest found winery in the world was discovered in Armenia. Historically, wineries in Armenia were concentrated along the Ararat Valley. Of particular note was the district of Koh Tn, Gogtan current Nakhchivan area. Today, Armenian wineries are concentrated in the Irini region district of Vayats Dzor. Armenian wine is mostly made from local varietals, such as Irini, Lalvari, Kaket, etc., though some wineries mix in better known European varietals such as Chardonnay and Cabernet. Winemaking took a downward plunge in the years following the collapse of the Soviet Union, but is undergoing a revival, with the addition of world-class labels such as Zora Wines. A yearly wine festival, held in Irini, is popular with the locals and features wines from official wineries as well as homemade hooch of varying quality. Armenian wines are predominantly red and are sweet, semi-sweet or dry Irini. Armenian Highland engaged in winemaking since ancient times. It has achieved considerable development of Urartu times 9th, 6th centuries. BC. During excavations in the castle of Teishabani have been found around 480, and in Toprakale, Manaskert, Red Hill and Arabnium 200 pot. 
The evidences of high-level and large-scale wine production in Armenia are as foreign Herodotus, Strabo, Xenophon and others and Armenian historians of the 5th–18th centuries, as well as sculptures of architectural monuments and protocols. Armenia's current area began wine production in the second half of the 19th century. At the end of the 19th century, next to the small businesses in Yerevan, Gamerlu, Ardashat, Ashterik, Ekmiadzin, Vagarshapat, there were four mill. In addition to grapes, wines have been made with other fruit, notably pomegranate, Armenian, enranjini, and rankini, apricot, quince, etc. In some cases, these fruit wines are fortified. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Mineral waters. Among the soft drinks Armenian mineral water is known for its healing specialty and is recommended by doctors. This spring water is originating from the depth of earth and flowing from ancient mountains in the city of Jermak. Armenia has rich reserves of mineral water. After the establishment of the Soviet Union the study and development of multilateral disciplines in these waters have begun. First industrial bottling was organized in Arzni, at 1927. In 1949, were put into operation Diligen and Jermak mineral water factories. In 1960-1980 were launched 7, Hankovan, Lick, BJNI, Lori, Arpi, Ararat, mineral water bottling plants and factories, which are involved in the production unit Mineral Water of Armenia. ASSR in 1985 produced 295 million bottles of mineral water. <laughs> 